Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity, session 52. Not the new 52, just the 52. Uh, it is the 4th of May, yep, nearly said March, but it's May 2020. Uh, may the 4th be with everybody who's listening and also with us. Uh, here are the players, I'm Ryan the GM. Hello, I'm Nico, and I'm Point Sora, the first cat, I think. Hello, I'm Colin. I'm playing like a quint in this, the Starfinder Framgence of Eternamoon. Greetings, I am Alex. Ooh, my goodness just worked. And I will be playing Weird, the Android Mechanic. On dial-up. He's having yeah. Yeah, a lot of audio quality <laughs> issues. Ah, he's happy, right? He's, yeah. he's happy oh, no. well, fucking stop it. Like, he's happy and good, man. What am I doing? Stop downloading oh, porn. Yeah. Or you download can't more. Stop <laughs> May the porn be with you. You have activated your distortion voice add-on or whatever the fuck you've yeah. ordered, like bits and bobs. We have right. distortion activate. How's this? That's fair. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! Fuck off, Skype. Yep. Uh, you're good, but then it started breaking up. I'm guessing it was Skype. Uh, Skype just making it long. How's this? Things. Much better. Nineteen. So you're only nineteen. For God's I just sake. try your uh, intro again. <laughs> yes. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm playing weird. The intro from Camp. Just went right back to normal. It's fine. Moving on. Callum. It's fine. It's Hi there. Body. I'm Callum, and I'm playing Zig, mystical space rat from the sun. Okay. We got the. Are you from the sun? No. Uh, hello, hello, Callum. Welcome. Well, hey there. Um, it's good to be here. And uh, thank you for 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 having me on first first time caller, long time listener. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I want to call in uh, Art with my uh, experience of uh, Sasquatch abduction. Um, oh, I I I got I got to interject there. Um, sorry, sorry there, but um, uh, I have to say that uh, the that uh, I I was the first one to to. You know, to notice the the abominable, unabominable snowman yeti dude. Just, just thought I'd just jump mm. back in there. Yep. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome that, to <laughs> Starfinder: The Fragments of Eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, welcome to Waifu Wars. <laughs> yes, apparently so. Um, meanwhile. What happened last time, guys? We asked the Skittermander CC to do the honours of communicating with the 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 uh, the previous hour, <laughs> the, the prior, the, hour, the, the prior hour, hour, yes, the last <laughs> hour, <laughs> uh, the first cup. Uh, no, um, the former and then hour. We got upon a ship and went to the location. Uh, upon which we did proceed to disembark and uh, forthwith engage in travel uh, direction-wise towards the suspected area of the uh, individual and or individuals Ramasethu uh, in accordance with... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Fucking uh, Space Law 101. Um, also, they did stuff. That was something. Sig murdered someone. Yeah. You say murdered. I agree. <laughs> but it's a hard place to say. You say, you say yes. murder. You like uh, as the cop was it murder? You know what? You know what? I'm going to make a case that he couldn't have known that that's how that would end. I mean, he probably should have guessed, but he couldn't have known, and therefore it's not murder. Yeah, that's what Just I'm manslaughter. For. Probably. I don't know if that would hold uh, up, so, right? So, like the the just the concept of well, I didn't know it would kill them. Well, murder requires intent. Exactly. Yeah, but he did Men's intend area. to uh, mind link, which he does know has killed people in the past. It's like saying, yeah, so "I'm going to actively hit you with my car, but you might survive, so it's not murder." No, that's, but, yeah, that would that wouldn't be murder unless it, you were actively trying to kill someone. Um, well, it depends whether we're in a state that has one of those rules about if you kill somebody. While you're in the act of committing another crime, it can't murder rather than manslaughter. Yeah, which is an interesting one, isn't it? Um, felony murder, is, the Yanks call that. Like, yes, yeah, so I was going to call it felony murder, but I hate the word. It, 
it's weird because it's just like saying, well, you you were a criminal anyway, so you're obviously a worse criminal. Even if you yeah. weren't trying to kill someone, but someone dies because you were, do- like, I don't know, robbing a bank, for example. Um, mm-hmm. Weird. Also, right? I really like the phrase, malice aforethought. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> just, it, it just that would be a good name for your podcast. Yes, malice actually. I will, I will put several dimes on there already being a yeah. podcast called that. Whereas Arthur Lee Allen Jihad is almost certainly not taken. <laughs> Until you said it now. No. <laughs> all, all, OC, all the please do not steal. I'm I'd also going like to, to welcome all our new subscribers that may or may not have come from Ryan's um, Facebook. Welcome. Welcome. I know that you know what you're in for. Uh, goodbye. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> right, what else happened last time? You think time? they made it this far? <laughs> they discovered that the person that Zig manslaughtered was a celebrity. And so Arthur Zig murdered someone. <laughs> Zig decided to cover up that slight moral misstep <laughs> by pretending to be that person. <laughs> yes. Which really makes it feel... So we do a mock-up of, like, the gang goes on a bus. Or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> and I had to cover up and calm down the, the guy that did the shooting. Yeah. And, uh, just and notify the family, and notify the boss, and just generally clear shit up. You know, Michael will be proud of you when he hears about this. Thank you. Oh, you were I talking about well. Zig, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. The world needs less celebrities. Um, <sighs> the world is a vampire. Um, so, yeah, I think that that's a good enough approximation of what happened, um, unless Michael wants to add anything else in about the very end. Uh, there was a, there was a, a, what I would describe as a brain experience. Uh, <laughs> a brain experience. So anything, so anything happened. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good description. I really said that. In case. <laughs> Can't wait till another game of yours when you GM. Well, you're having a brain experience. It'll start when we start the game. It'll end some point after death. And then just saw everything awash with. A lack of wash and colour <laughs> and uh, and a sense of memory of the thing which I was now hearing for the first time, uh, telling me, you know, keep at it, you're, you're on the right path, basically. I can't remember the exact verbiage, but that, that was the, the gist. And, and yeah, it's a spooky vision mm-hmm. heading towards Ramasethu. Uh, I, if I recall, I asked and you did confirm that it was Ramasethu's voice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So I think we're, we're pretty clearly like, on our doorstep, as it were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, use as a group where you just managed to kind of dock in the mountainsides near um, Hive Market. Then you've got about an hour between where you've parked and the main settlement. The others are like a couple hours away. Um, so unless there was anything that you had wanted specifically to do, I said that we would maybe just skip straight to that. But before we do, we will have a wee chat about some goals. Oh. oh man! So, I was early and I don't have the goals page open. Wow! When were you really early? Then you did nothing with your I don't, earliness. I don't remember so. my goal. Are you early goal. if you're only early but not doing anything? Oh yeah. Don't you goal. don't you denounce his earliness? Okay, it's a special thing, and you should encourage it. Or Callum? No, this is why people get killed. Uh, I, I'm in favour of earliness. I generally try to be early for things. Except when I don't want. To. There you go. He's only ever late. Which if is it's occasionally. Deliberate. That's not true. <laughs> I just tend to be here by preference, if not design. Okay. I don't so know what Colin bought ever enough time to get into the goals page yet? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> find a suitable source of income. Find a source of income <laughs> while on Akaton. Yes. Oh, this is, I thought you were saying like find the Cinnabar sauce. <laughs> I was like, what, what is that? Find the cinnabar sauce. I recognize these as words. Cinnabar sauce. Where's cinnabar? Yeah. I, I don't know, know. It's a word. Thing. I know it for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's Pokemon sauce, right? It's, it's a color. Yeah. We don't want that. Uh, we don't want that. That's true. We are not Nintendo of America, the, U- the UK, yeah. Japan, or wherever else there are Nintendos. But Russia. Yes, I saw income. Gold is good. Like mercury sulfide, apparently. 
and I feel like it is mm. going to at least try and be progressed today while Lyco does Lyco things, probably. Yeah. Cinnabar feels a very apt Akatonian reference, doesn't it? it the co- yeah, yeah, it does, because the coloration and the, the, the chemical... Like, that could just be a, a map of Akaton, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Valid. Valid reference. Um, Cinnabar, you are valid! Yes. I also like the fact that the, oh, the merchant stone Cinnabar cut looks very Eye of Genesee. So, it's kind of cool. Really? It looks like that one stone is having a period, I'll be honest. Like the way wow. that it sort of bleeds onto others, the lighting. I see. Come on, it looks like it's got red on the other stones. You've got red on you. Yeah, like Bill Nye used to say often. Did he? He's presumably. Did Bill Nye the murderer? <laughs> like. <laughs> You've got red on you. I always thought that was just ad libbed and it was just sheer coincidence that other people said it in the film. Anyway, Maybe wrong. So, mm-hmm. in the goals, how are we doing with find a suitable source of income? Do we think we can progress with this goal? Yes, I feel like I'm going to try when well, Michael does his thing. Cool. And I feel like I trust him to try. Okay. Establish healthy does boundaries between the porty membreros. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh- <laughs> that, was, that, that was not me. I think, oh, you know, I think, I think my, my new goal rule is that it can't be completed if it is not at least attempted to be spelled correctly. So I attempted. I mean, no. I have my eyes closed. But I attempted. No, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> A pox on that. <laughs> uh, I'm reminded of the uh, the episode of The Simpsons. Good. No. Ah, good. Um, what about <laughs> hook up with the old Nick's crew? Yes, that's what I was going to put in. I cannot. My Chrome is preventing me from navigating to you okay. to enter that goal. Is that still an issue? I have no idea what's happening. This, I think it's because I'm on a laptop at the moment, and the laptop is having a hard time with Discord and Roll20. Yeah. But it, it hasn't always done, though, mm-hmm. which is really weird. So I need to figure out what's changed. But. Um, Given the whole lockdown and everything, mm-hmm. or just playing on the main PC. So. Uh, I see. Understandable. It's a hard not life. Yeah. Uh, does. Beyond that, happy to try and progress with hook up with the old Nick's crew? Yes. Cool. Um, you have uh, currently given me no details about the old Nick's crew, so I will expect that, will, that will be. You want me to just completely just wait? Because <laughs> I mean, I will. I found art just today. Dice. I found, no, no. I found art today. I'm desperate to just ham into the game somewhere. So, okay. Let's uh, do it. Let's challenge ourselves, shall we? <laughs> no. I've, I've been making it as easy as possible, Alex. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Is my. <laughs> um. Okay, so we've then got go speak at Ramasethu about contact and <laughs> Q-Bob. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm on the way to completing that mm-hmm. and uh, maybe even rewording it to be slightly clearer before I do. Um, Can I do that now, or...? Yeah, I Good. do. Good. I'll move on and come back to you, right? So I may or may not have deleted the middle thing by accident because I dropped the mouse. Control when... Z? It's no one. Oh, it did work that time. Not that time. Right, cool. Yep. Uh, Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is session 52. I hope we this bad. <laughs> uh, I actually would argue that this has been very good. It's been good. It's a fun and efficient are two separate categories for this game. Um, yes, but no one likes efficiency. That's not true. Some efficiency. Callum. Discover why Edgar is slash was on Akaton. I'm fairly certain he was. <laughs> Excuse me. Have you considered that he was a boy and she was a girl? And I couldn't have no, made it any obvious. more obvious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I call that Avril's razor. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, if you say that enough, people will believe Avril's razor is a thing, right? Oh yes, I'm gonna keep doing that now. Yeah, oh, like, thank it's you. It's hundred percent believable because Avril, obviously being slightly off kilter. Um, yeah, you heard me. So she'll get posthumous recognition. Yeah. <laughs> what? How do you? Um. Right, sure. I I don't want to talk about gold anymore. It's painful. Um, um, Why not speak then about gold? So, here we are. In the game. Called Life. But mostly called yeah. The Fragments of Eternity. Um, how are you going with those fragments? You collected them all yet? No, it's taking a bit too long. Uh, we are yeah. the fragments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Um, was that old rye? Was that old dragon called it? I see. I've got quite a few of those. <laughs> well, that's it. You know, it's fine. We'll just we'll just literally pick up a handful of litchy past jewelry and be like, "These must be the fragments <laughs> of eternity." I will be a fragment of eternity Listen. when I kill God. Right? That's there is nothing that's cheap that's about ass jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you change your name for a second, already? For a second, I thought you'd said a word that's astillery, and I was like, "What? What? What? What's? 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 What? What is that?" Jewelry. <laughs> I, was to, I was about to Google astillery. Astu- no. I was like, no, <laughs> no. No. Wait. Wait. No. 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 Right, you guys aren't allowed to play together anymore. You're a bad influence on them. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh. I like being bad. Um. <laughs> Anyway. I, I, you know what? I have been wondering. Does it sound a bit fetishy? Avril's razor, like some sort of like shaved legs kink. But do then you know who doesn't like shaved legs? Do you know something? I've never wondered that. So <laughs> here we are in our RP game. Is that a kink? Look, look, viewers, tell us. Is that a specific <laughs> thing that you are interested in, or that you know anyone else is interested in? Yeah, leave like, a comment is... below, and then way below, just. It could be like a razor blade rather than like a, a you know mm. razor for your legs, like a, a you know not not a shaver, a shaving razor. Has it's this be just become razor. market research for Colin's new podcast? Yeah, um, I think so. No, no, market. no. I'm just saying if there was any crossover between Avril Lavigne and like razor blade and things. Sure, Avril's razor would be a fairly valid name for your podcast as well, yeah. <sighs> and possibly slightly less creepy. What well, isn't that? the first thought. Like. <laughs> No, than my one. <laughs> oh yeah, everything was less creepy. Than I mean, like anything's an improvement. Um. Uh, anyway, so you just randomly say the word cinnabar every now and then, like once, at least cinnabar. once an episode, right? So yeah. um, just I, c- I could have sworn it was a spice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I um, found a hair clip the other day. Thank you for that. What? I don't know where. I don't remember, but I remember finding it, and it's in front of me now. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, life um finds a way. But well, <laughs> well, that's bizarre. <laughs> this is this is how I have a breakdown. I think this this game. <laughs> <laughs> It's, you know what? I really look forward to our chats. Take take three three breaths and yeah, but I feel like I need to have these chats on Sunday night, so I'm at least got a bit of a breather before I need to run the game. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> dear gods. But anyway, uh, yeah. So, is there anything that um, the Alpha team want to do before the Bravo team turn up um, at Hive Market? Because who's, who's Alpha and who's Bravo? Well, if you remember from many descriptions no, both this week and last week okay. but user a couple hours behind them so yes this is true mm-hmm. so alpha team yeah so do we hmm. so everything you want to get up to in hive market hive market what do we think is the best approach i mean do we want to all meet up before i go and fuck off or do i want to fuck off or do we all want to fuck off it's gotta be a good while before they get his. Uh, I don't well, know. Only a few hours, right? So 
Uh, yeah, pretty much it'll be about an hour you'll have to kill, I think. Um, it can be two if you needed to, but I think it's probably about an hour, because I think I said they were two hours behind and used for an hour outside the hive market. And they're getting yeah, dropped off in the there. hive market. Yeah. Um, I don't I'd start searching about the new for some work instantly, right? I mean, I'll be like, right, well, I guess I'll, I'll, be, I'll just say, well... That's not yeah. a bad idea. I could also, using my skills as... Uh, you know, a gumshoe, private deck. Um, I could, uh, I could see if there's any any work going. Mm. We could maybe even do some profession rolls, Ryan. Yeah. Roll some dice, like some sort of game. I don't like it. I'm not into it, to be honest. It's, <laughs> it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit much, you know. So. I yeah. guess I would just. Turn her into Lyco, and I'm like, well, I guess while we're here and we're waiting, we might as well try and find some work while we're at it. Like, for later. Get some yeah. funds on the go. Looking I'm out towards the shop, city in the I would look at my... distance. So is this when you hit the hive market, or as you are approaching it? Uh, as we hit, probably. As, well, as we're kind of approaching, I guess. Yeah, I, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I'd probably just see in the shuttle, like... Maybe a good idea to look for some work while we're waiting. Well, I mean, what kind of work are we? Ah, it's got to be some flipping scavenger work or something that pays well around here, right? Something. Well, uh, I guess that's kind of exactly what I'm hoping to do. I'm scavenger work, in a sense. Um. I I'll I'll see if we can uh, maybe find any contracts or anything that are going. See if there's anyone we could round up quickly. But you know, anything that can be done quickly doesn't pay well. But uh well, I don't mean doing it right now. I mean just doing for later. Let a contract for later once we get the sure. Rama Sefu stuff sorted. I mean, between. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I know her name, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's name. I, I, for some reason, it sounds like a she. You remember? Oh, I'm sure it's female. It's female. It's female. Right, it, 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 wait, I was a mind blast for everybody in the ship. Mm-hmm. I remember that. I remember mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Yep. Right, right. It so, was. Um, you remember yeah. the name, don't worry. Rama says. Your shit working for everybody. Um, yeah, so. What was I saying? Um, yeah, uh, I, I guess I might be a bit occupied if I'm going to go in there. Have a, a try and develop some sort of uh, working relationship with uh, with Bob. Try and uh, maybe leverage the uh, the Axian crash ship into some money. But uh, you know, uh, while I'm occupied with that, if it's something that if it really is, and it seems like it is, if it really is something that only I can do, then well, that still leaves everyone else with some time in their hands, right? So, yeah. But- Perhaps it's something that could occupy the rest of these while we're dealing with that. And, uh, and yeah, I, I think the like was suitably sated. Sated? It's a weird way to phrase no, it. It's fine. You know. yeah. <laughs> Verbally sated, yeah. Mm, yeah. No, he's, he, he's, he's a peas, you know, he's like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, no, we can do that, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, sorry, sneeze. <clears throat> yes, yeah, I guess. Blessed be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. By Desna. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, maybe you just have this conversation as you're like just approaching Hive Market and like, you obviously see people like coming and going and dragging various like kind of like sex. It's possibly um, reminiscent of um, any kind of desert market looking town, right? Quite frankly, I am Jakku might be a good example of a lot of this stuff. I am the visuals of Hive Market, um, but it's very built up. Like there's, this is the place is fairly big. It's a massive bazaar of sorts. Um, so yeah, and you start to approach, and it is busy. There are a lot of people here. Um, it's maybe coming up on whatever evening looks like in this place, because I forget what time we're actually on in the world, quite frankly. I don't, I don't know if anybody else remembers what time it is, but I don't, so 
I feel like it's probably coming up for evening. Um, but yeah, and as you are like heading into the city, I obviously CC has been with you guys for the the journey, but it's mostly been the backpack doing the walking as it's just slept as it's, oh. as it's hung oh. the, uh, the legs somewhat reminiscent of a former uh, NPC actually mm. but yeah but yes so you get there like there's the bustle of activity and people trying to sell wares and whatnot. so um yeah what? mm. What would be the best place to find some work? Bar, right? A sort of place. Uh, yeah, bars work. I mean, docks. Are there? Is there a dock? I mean, I... not really. Like this place is no. like a black market. For that way. Yeah, that's what okay. it's here for. Like there is no law here, so it's just black a case market of... and bar seems perfect then. Yeah, like you definitely yeah. can drink here. Um, I think the only kind of form of institution is probably the Church of Abadar, for obvious reasons. It's about trade. Um, Church of Abadar might be offered somewhat trade. Would they? Uh, <laughs> I guess. They could be, yeah. Do you want to... I mean... check it out together, or we could sort of hit up different places separately? We're quite noticeable. You seem to work well more with the uh, uh, black market types. <laughs> Do you want to take the ball? Uh, yeah, if you like. Um, I can... Uh, I work in a bar or two. Okay. Uh, Somebody approaches will... the group. Um, okay. A couple of humans that look like they've been like arguing amongst themselves about who's approaching. Um, and... Uh, they just they start speaking, um, and they kind of look between the two of you, and they've got like broken vesk, is what they're speaking, but they're human, and they've got like kind of like you know big scarfs over like their their faces and their mouths and stuff. And, I speak uh, a bit of vesk too. Well, I mean, I have um, vesk is one of my languages. <laughs> yeah, and they are like really really badly, but they're mostly kind of addressing like Zora, uh, and they're like again in vesk. The best translation would be, how much for the small furry thing? <sighs> Your vest is awful. And then uh, the guy like I would say common. And, and he just would... yeah, the guy just turns and he's like, "See, I told you we could just speak to him." <laughs> it's like, dude, dude, it's a check. They're bl- the, the checks are blue. Not for sale. <laughs> I was like, I mean, we give you a very good, very good deal for the the blue, the oh. small blue thing. I'll see. You. Small blue thing is more money than we do. They, like, they just argue amongst themselves, like, and then they kind of like look between the two of you, and then they look at CC, who's like, just looking at his arm, and he uh, looks up, and they're like. How much for a the big guy? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, CC just bites its own arm, and then they kind of lose interest, and they they kind of shoo themselves away as CC just sits on the floor, chewing its arm. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, which, which of us is taking Craig? <laughs> oh, he uh, stands up and like pulls its arm out of its mouth and just kind of looks up at you, like, as if obviously it, it heard its name. <laughs> we are gonna check out a couple of different places. Who are you going with? And you're saying that to CC? Yeah. Um, like, one of its hands scratches its butt, the other its head, and the other one its, like, tummy. And uh, it looks around, 
and then it kind of just points at the two guys that tried to buy it. Come with. Come with them. It just, huh? it just looks at you, and just stops like scratching itself. Just stares at you. Ah, uh, try come with me. And it just kind of like walks up and puts its hand up to take your hand. Oh, 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 oh. I'll take this. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, guess, guess that's settled. Um, good, good luck, Captain. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look around then, see if I can find any, uh, any good watering hose, and we can see what's going for work. Uh, we should, uh, while we're separated, we should maybe keep an eye out. I mean, this place is obviously, you know. Uh, yeah, seems quite unscrupulous. It's, uh, yeah, it's a hellhole. It's, it's, uh, backwater sort of desert hellhole. No rules and. A lot of people selling a lot of shit. It's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not the sort of place that you want to be caught unawares. But uh, well, at least the church should be half decent, right? <laughs> I mean, we have something they want. Ah, uh, yes, Kate. And I, when I say we have her, I mean we know someone who has her. I think we should. I will not bring that up yet. Maybe. Fair. I don't know. Exactly have access to it at this moment. And no, it that's... It get quite awkward if they demand it. Yeah, maybe that's worth bringing up at a later time once we can uh, actually make sure we can bring her to them. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set out and have a look, and uh, I'll get in touch with you guys uh, if I find anything. Um. Not if you hear from the the others soon sooner than than I do, uh, you know, let, let me know what's happening with them, and once we're all gathered up, I can set out myself, and, or or whatever, whatever. Yeah, late. we'll uh, we'll see where it takes us. <laughs> and I say that, and I sort of give him like a little half salute, you know. I, I would also <laughs> turn and give him the two finger salute way back. I mean, a Vesk salute is definitely just punching each other, but you okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I would give him a yeah. two-finger salute, like, the, the sort of, like, uh, catchy. Like. <laughs> yeah, this little more um, implied salute <laughs> than the actual punching, yeah. yeah. I think um, maybe CC probably does that with one of its arms as well. Just salutes the same as it's <laughs> looking up at uh, the captain. Oh. <laughs> Adorable. I like him, he's good. He's good, he's good. He's good. Mm. He's gonna be a menace, but he's good. I don't know what you're talking about, how dare you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so I'll head off and start looking at, um, looking at places to ferret around. Watering holes and uh, drinking places and uh, pubs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'll head off towards the church. Okay, yeah. I, I will try and I will ask about it if I don't find it. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? I'm assuming it would have been easy enough to find. It's pretty much one of the few actual buildings here, right? Okay, right. That makes it a lot easier. I was expecting at least a building, right? Yeah. I was so expecting like a tent. It is, it's one of the, the few actual buildings. Okay. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll stick with you then, Zora. Um, we head up. As I said, it looks like every other kind of like a tent. It's just like a kind of slightly cheaper looking um, Church of Abadar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll approach it. So there's like any guards or anything like just, just go in. Just, uh, no, just it's, there's like a, a kind of panel on the wall uh, next to the door. The doors are shut. Okay. And it's. Um, 
It's a, a list of uh, rental fees for the church. <laughs> so, like you can call make... priest button. <laughs> no, everything has charges next to it. So if you want to like rent out space in the church or whatever, like all of it's listed as a charge. Okay, what's the what's like the mid range charge? You know, I kind of want to just. Uh, yeah, you can just. Well, you I can... don't want to be stingy, you know. It's an offering to the church, you know. Goodwill. There, def <laughs> there definitely is an offering button, um, as opposed to exacting charges. But if you wish um, any formal priest business of any kind, uh, it will be at least 500 credits. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Cool. And then I ask you to select it's a time slot. Uh, the most. Quickest, the most soon available. Yeah, they can have um, a priest available to you within the hour for five hundred yes. credits. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Cool. And your like your chip that you put in, obviously, to get your money, like transmits to your column and says, and gives you like an, an e-ticket that is like your place in the queue. Okay. So like a waiting room. Uh, no, you're not even allowed in the building. It's just on the outside of the building. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, who knew like the the money church was a uh, sorry the church yeah, not to get too deep there, but yeah, who knew the church was a uh, designed this way right? Is there anywhere about I can see you that looks waitable? Um, I mean. It's a massive market. Like a for? stall, a food stall or something? Sure, yeah, you can go to a food stall. Yeah, go to a food stall. Um, alas, I'll go to a food stall. Um, yeah, there's maybe like a, like a kind of vendor in the middle, um, almost like some kind of coconut hut type thing. Um, it's like the big shell of some dead creature. And... Uh, They've obviously like carved a hole in the side of the shell, and they're like serving out of it. And there's just like a bunch of makeshift tables made out of various things where people are sitting around. So it's like an almost outside cafe thing. So you've got that. You can just kind of like rock up to that if you want. Yeah, let's go up. No, it's... So like a... a guy serving. Good. Yeah, there's like a a person serving. It's an android. Oh, uh, I was hoping it was good. She kind of smiles at you and you approach her, what can I get you, love? Um, so like a visible menu? Uh, yeah, like, you know, it is um, probably scored into the side of a sheet of metal. I like this place, it's fucking... Rustic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All the best menus are scored into a sheet. Yeah, exactly, man. It's going to be some authentic rat we're going to be getting, man. It's nice. Sorry, it's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 It's a good red. Oh, the lizard as well, right? It's fine. It's. Th never mind, carry on. Um, I mean, I wouldn't eat a fucking vest, great. That's fucking barbaric. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I would get, like, some EA product, and I would ask CC what he wants. I think it's just kind of like tugging on like your armor, um, and kind of like just pointing at the menu. Okay, uh, I would uh, give it the menu. Give the menu. Eh? You just rip it off the wall, yeah. Oh, is it just a little wall? It's a big piece of sheet metal. They have scored the whole menu into. Yeah, they don't have it in the visual mode. Fucking translate bad. Ah. Uh, uh, I'll get him like plan at each of it. It looks like he's vaguely pointing. Okay, yeah, um, like that kind of general <laughs> area of the menu. Nah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, um, I'll like, spend a hundred hundred credits on food. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, you have a mini feast, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. She like smiles at you and she says, "Don't worry, I'll bring it out to you." There's, I don't know, find somewhere to sit. 
Um, cool. I think the she says find or make somewhere to sit. I think it's the exact thing she says. Oh, uh, Daskal. Uh, don't suppose you know about it. Uh, work it around here. Do you? <laughs> My job's taken, honey. She just uh, kind of just laughs, winks at you. Top it's some like rough or scavenging what or something, just in case you knew anybody. Hmm. All I know is folks need to eat. So I supply eating. Okay, I would not. I get the point. I get the. Uh, but and she like she, anyway. she, she kind of like waves out to the market. And she's like, folks seem to want to sell as well though, so find something to sell. She kind of shrugs. Eat. I get you. That's a good idea. I mean, I kind of actually it was kind of unknown. So I don't even know even need to. Find somebody, Percy. We'll like find somewhere mm. to go get some shit to sell. You know, I'll get yeah. shit for sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Actually, th- come t- she she kind of just like nods at you and uh, she says, "Food will be coming right up." Good nod. Yeah, and like I don't know, you were you were probably given your your somewhere. your like jug or pail of whatever you'd ordered to drink. And some kind of thing to hold liquid in. It's all mishmash. There's nothing uniform here. It's just containers, right? Various containers. Mm-hmm. I've probably got um, CC with like a big kind of jar or something, liquidy, um, <laughs> that it's kind of like slowly tipping towards itself from the table that you find. So cute. Your like your table is probably a it's giant adorable. tire. Of some kind, with like a big slab of like sheet metal over the top of it. I like it. Nice. Did you do like the sheet metal aesthetic? Nice. Yeah. I was gonna say wood, and then I looked at the map, and I went, "That'd be really expensive here." It's like the best of dives, man. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, just, it's just a junkers cafe, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you describe it as the junkers paradise? <laughs> <laughs> Living in the junkers paradise. <laughs> Anyway, so um, yeah, I think after a couple of minutes or whatever, like your food gets brought out to you, like it's just, like again dumped, kind of unceremoniously in front of you. I wouldn't necessarily say it looks well presented. I just think it look it probably just the smell hits you first, right? Where it just smells like burnt meat in places. Um, Fine. Yeah. Fine that. It's probably like fucking. Local cuisine, yeah. Fisk, like fucking. <laughs> like it's probably reminiscent of like if you've ever had to be on like long term operations, right? And <laughs> just get a fucking creature and shove it yeah. in a fire and hope yeah. for the best, man. Like, yeah, sample the local cuisine, right? <laughs> um, mm-hmm. uh, and then like CC kind of like stands up on the table, um, <laughs> and just kind of like looks at it all as if where did this all come from? And it looks uh, up at you, and it looks, and it's got like <laughs> some of its hands on its hips. Ah, <laughs> uh, anything you like? And it kind of looks up at you with like big eyes, and then uh, it looks down at them, and then it kind of points to itself and looks back at you. Uh, help yourself. Uh, and it does, and if you don't stop it, there'll be very little left. I will take a plate <laughs> of meat and eat it and. Can do well with forty words for the rest. It's <laughs> probably at least a quarter of the way through the food before you'd finished the sentence. So yeah, yeah, just like ravenously like munching everything and like stuffing things in its mouth. <laughs> so we know its appetite is anything. And so people uh, are definitely looking at you. Uh, I mean that's fine. It's, it's, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so, like give them the, the stink eye. Uh, yeah, some of them turn away. Other people like <laughs> clearly are overdoing it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, um, your communication goes though. Uh, I will answer. Uh, it's uh, a it's a contact request from CC. Oh. Uh, say it. Cool. And then it's just a text message that says. I like to thank you for accepting. Now we can speak. Good. That that's a lot 
more useful. I think when you look up, the thing's just lying on its back with like all of its like six arms rubbing its belly, and it just burps. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, enjoy the view. It just comes up on the tech, like the voice comes out now, and it's like the same voice from like the the PA system in the warehouse, and it just says, "Excuse me." Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> I think we cut over to Lyco. <laughs> like, oh. right? Yeah, I w- I will just sort of head towards anywhere that looks bar like. Yeah, um, there's probably a couple, right? I am. Um, so yeah, you can just head to the closest one. Yep. And uh It's yeah, probably it, gonna... it, it's probably called Drink Hole, let's face it. Um <laughs> Ah, they're a fan of for a naming convention. Mm-hmm. Um the other one down the street's called Naming Convention, but yeah. <laughs> um yeah, so you get to Drink Hole and Yeah. It's a Again, it's like a some kind of robot. That operates this one, as opposed to an android, an actual robot this time. Mm. Mechanica. I uh, I will order from it something. Oh. <laughs> Whatever is something that I recognise is. In fact, can I can I do a culture roll to see if like I you know recognise a nice cheap. Not too alcoholic, but doesn't stand out as you know, you know, sort of like a a, a Bud Light level drink, like something so, that a person might actually go and order, but that won't get them drunk. So in this kind of ghetto bar, there is very little in the way of like brand alcohol, right? That isn't okay. going to cost a fortune, right? You probably could find yeah. like space Bud Lights here, but it probably cost you a lot more than it should. Um, there is definitely whatever comes out of the pipes into whatever those glasses are, right? Um, which is probably five credits a, a glass, quite frankly. Um, and by glass, I mean probably a tin, right? Some kind of empty tin that once possibly was food substance at some point. Um, uh, okay. Sorry I will, uh, interrupt. It was, it was 600. I just spent that, right? Yeah, 500. five for the priest. A <laughs> hundred for the food. Cool. Uh, yeah. The the feeding of the five no um so yeah I I I'll go I'll go up Vesk to the, the Jesus robot you ser- say <laughs> yeah go up to the robot servitor robot the robot, the robot servitor and uh and uh or server even mm-hmm. and I'll say like um yeah in fact no I'll just go just like sort of do an upwards nod of acknowledgement say uh beer then there's some strange like beeps and chirs. Um, and whistles and such, and like cogs spinning, and uh, it then like taps this broken screened data pad that's like <laughs> built in to the kind of um, bar, and it's a uh, obviously for credit. Yeah, I will. Uh... Calm, you know, or swipe the calm over like a yeah, <laughs> or something like that. yeah, yeah. If I like the visual of that, I'll do that. Yeah, and then you hear like the kind of the vibrations of like pipes as liquids like firing through it, and the rattling noises, and it sounds very makeshift. And then this thing just pops out, just a, an empty can, um, or a hollowed out can, I should say, now full of some kind of frothed up liquid. Okay, that hands it to you. I take it and have a sip. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not great, right? Uh, I was expecting a four to choose. But it's it's probably really. It's somewhere between someone's homemade beer and a just ethanol. Okay. Which is he probably cringes slightly when he first has a taste and sort of like shakes his head and sort of shrugs. It's definitely the type of thing that contextually, where you are, does it gets better with time, right? Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, can I perception up to see if I spot any people around that I might be interested in speaking to? I, what are you looking for is the best thing, right? So, what type of people would you like to find? Well, like who's more concerned with finding work for the group than himself at the moment, because he kind of has a mission, has a mission in mind. Mm. Uh, 
So I suppose he'd be looking for something less manhunty and more like a team job, like smuggling or something like that. Um, I mean, technically, your job's going to be that, right? Really? I mean, yeah, in this occasion. True, true. Like, I, I think mean, this like... is a good time to unpack then, right? What is Lyco's plan for this? Because, Lyco, are you going to, right? Now, this is more of a, you don't need to answer this, more of a, think, just thinking about it, but you can answer if you have ideas. Are you going to try and ask Ramasethu for something to give to Bob, or are you going to actually try and take something? The former, I figure it's easier to just, just ask. ask. Uh, because it doesn't seem to me wise. Uh, because I mean, like not just because of the, the obvious. Oh, you know, what if there's security? Or what there's there's a simple fact that these these are psychic entities and obviously very powerful. And uh, I don't know, stealing from them just seems like you would only you'd only be very likely to be able to do it with their permission. Like, they would have to be sort of tac tacit permission, right? Like. Mm -hmm. If I steal, steal something and they don't say anything, it's because they just figure, eh, it's cost of doing business and they choose to ignore it. Um, or in Sindel's case, wait, that was mine. <laughs> um, so, you know, if I, if, I, if I take something and they don't do anything, then it's you know, probably because they knew and didn't care. Uh, but if I take something and they do react, then that's obviously not great. So mm. my, my first um, instinct would be to ask... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, for. Uh, the one concern, of course, is that they go, no, of course you can't do that. And then that kind of puts me against the corner because obviously I don't absolutely need to make these arrangements with Bob, but it does seem like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Especially if, if money is a concern, and it is, because like was sort of... Oh, how much? How many credits did you spend, by the way? I just spent... No, I just spent... Oh, like five. Oh, five. Um, yeah, so it like was in two fifty credits. Uh, it's not a great amount. No, it isn't. I am, um, but I mean, those guys might still buy CC at some point from me if you ever get tight. So it's fine. Um, did you <laughs> spend money? The money that you should have actually had. You just don't know how that one here. So, wait, what money? The, the what shop one versus because you never did add that money on here. So. Should have had like thirty grand, but like I think we said it'd be like twenty or twenty five since you just didn't remember what like it was. I did spend it. No, I did. I, I did. I'm sure I spent yeah. it because I, th I think we agreed that I'd spent it because of my uh, things. Uh, yeah, my arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Right. So I was just wondering if that was actually. Yeah. I just. I just. I was every day. I remember Lyco and me talking about stuff about money for that. So I do believe. Because like I actually had money and stuff that you mm -hmm. didn't know about. Yeah. Stuff I was just wasn't sure of. So. That sounds like. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, no, I think I think my money is probably. I I know that I lost track at some point, so it was a ballpark figure. Um, and I think I, I tried to be fierce. I probably did lowball it, but I don't think it would have been by much. Um, so yeah, I, I two fifty is probably not far off the mark if I was backing it perfectly. And let's just assume there are some expenses along the way that have brought it down to that if it is too yeah. low. Um, so yeah, Lyco needs money personally. Uh, the crew are obviously eager to get some money to get up and running. Oh, this is bad. I think we're all broke. Ugh, I've got like three grand. That's depleted quickly. Fuck it this way. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I, I, I suppose it's open it up to the crew. What kind of jobs would they be looking for specifically? Uh, Gun I think running? I think it's less fucking public and most go out and get a fucking. Always something to sell. Angus scavenging is the best idea. There's loads of wrecks yeah. in this place, right? There's loads of places. You could, you could go hunt something. Just to sell. Yeah, um, hunting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hunting work, salvage is good. I was going to say, like, um, technically the best person to have asked would have been like, weird, weird, right? Yeah, yeah this is weird place. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the, I do feel like weird, that is weird the will best probably idea. be able to bring us, you know, plenty of information, but we're here now, so we may mm -hmm. as well use our time. Yeah. It's the most under the radar, like, sort of idea, like what I think and Well, like having a rough piece. idea then of what I'm looking for, um, I suppose that leads someone to sort of think, well, I'm maybe looking for someone who doesn't look like they can do that shit for themselves, but maybe has money to pay people to do it. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, anyone who looks like they're, you know, they're sat, they're standing around, you know, maybe they're sitting around well. looking a bit too wealthy to be in this. I was gonna say bar. somebody, somebody buying people drinks, essentially that type of idea. Yeah, mm. someone who looks like they're looking for someone to hire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Um, give me a perception's probably not the right one. Profession probably is the right one, right? Because yeah, I mean, was gonna say it yeah. probably is like trying to source suss out people. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's a twelve empty eight. Yeah. Um Yeah, I think you find somebody and I think uh the reason they stand out is because the they're like a, a Cassathis, so you can see that they're like buying everyday drinks but not drinking themselves. Because they would never do that. Yeah. No in public. <laughs> but like they seem to be having like quite a jovial time. They seem to be in like a slightly better part of the the kind of bar area, um, which is. Have you ever seen the like in any kind of Asian cinema movie that is set in kind of like almost feudal times where they go to like the outside forest bars, and it's like a bunch of places set up? Do you know what I mean? No. Outside forest bars? Yeah, Not really. It, and you know what I mean? Let's see. Um, see if you can find an image. Yeah, I'll see if I can find one. Forest. I can't even think of a movie now. Um, forest bar. Um, fight Asian cinema. I'll see if I can get that. Because things from like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and stuff like that, and like House of the Flying Daggers, and all that. Let's see if I can find what I'm even talking about. Because I have it in my head, and it is from a movie. I just cannot remember the exact movie it was from. Let's see. Forest bar fight, and let's just put in. I think I actually kind of thought of it, but I can't. Remember. Yeah, it's um. What was the <sighs> fantasy, the fantasy Asian TV show thing? Um, called, I know that's really fucking vague, but like, it was quite big at the time for it. Wasn't it? <sighs> Just a few, I'm trying one. It was like Ace Fantasy, obviously, it was a violent fire. Not like High Fantasy, like Ace Fantasy. I'm talking just. Fantasy, fantasy. I know. I like Wirefu, sort of, Wirefu, like fantasy, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah. Like, right, right. 100% Wirefu, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, fucking... Also, Google Something leaves, fallen... Uh, what, the f uh, what the fuck was the name? Yeah, again. Not... <laughs> I can't remember. Mate, remember. Is, this is so not worth the time I'm spending on yeah. you, but... Let's, yeah, let's, let's just continue. But uh, if I do find an image, I will share it. Um, obviously, I can hear everybody in chat screaming <clears> the <throat> answers. Uh... But we don't have chat, so. House of Flying Daggers? Let's find out. Um, House of Flying Daggers. It's literally just a bar in the woods, and it is like. It's so not a building, right? It's just a bunch of stuff set up, like tables and an actual bar is set up, but there's no, no walls or anything. Mm. Um, it's so. Is it just one of the like sort of famous ones? Like the famous is that a TV show? I actually say it's a TV TV show. It's probably in both. I've probably seen it. In, it's been in loads of stuff. I'm picture uh, sorry because you, you're describing outside bar. Keep on picturing like a tiki bar. <laughs> no, not not quite tiki. No, I know it horrendous Polynesian style catch, but it's it's. That's right, but you're in this bar anyway, and mm -hmm. in um. Yeah, like in a slightly kind of like raised up kind of platformed area. Uh, so everybody else is obviously on like the kind of sandy ground, um, you know, dust ground, and they've got like there's like almost um, like big poles in the ground that would like show the boundaries of the place, and there's like almost bunting, but like ripped up, torn okay. banner type of bunting, if you will, to indicate like the kind of strings between the top of the place, but their part is all almost um, gazebo-esque, like it's got like an overhead kind of cover and stuff to try and keep like the dust off them. So it's clearly this like the more wealthier part of the 
the kind of place mm -hmm. itself. Um, maybe even the owner as well would be a good assumption. You've probably been to enough places where you know the owner likes to be um, on display, right? Especially okay. if you've worked in bars in the past. I have indeed. Mm -hmm. I'm not IRL. Um, no, Lyco. It's Lyco. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> don't worry. Uh, I uh, hmm. don't know if it would be the right approach to just approach him directly. Approach to approach. That's a name um, <laughs> of something, pro probably. I uh, I suppose then. Um, like, how how busy is he? Like, you know, does it, if I get the impression that maybe this is the owner, is he maybe glad handing a bunch of people? Yeah, or what have you. So he's there kind of um sat back, is like top two arms leaning back across the kind of big kind of comfy seat that he's in. Um and yeah, like he's there uh, leaning back in his couch and he's just surrounded by people that are clearly there because they like to be near the like the guy in charge, right? It's that kind of crowd. Okay. Or hangers on. Oh hundred percent, yeah. Um, in that case, maybe the direct approach isn't the worst idea. You might want a break from them. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I suppose. Right. I want to see if like a can think of an N, because maybe uh, I I could just approach him and say, you know, hey there, looking for any work, but or you know. Not looking for any work, looking for a job done or something like that. But maybe that comes across a little bit. Hmm. Are you up to something? Um, I'm kind of curious to see, like, uh, if I can maybe figure an in, like, if I notice something that might give Lyco an excuse to come up and say, you know, hey, I notice X. Do you need any help with Y? As it were. Um, you know, does it would does anything stand out about the guy uh, that you know would make me think to take a particular avenue? Like you know, I don't know. Mm, yeah, I'm I don't know. Actually, think exactly what it's I a tough one there. because sure. the reason why it's a tough one is because Cassathans on Nakatons a strange one. Like they're um, they're a strange bunch of people, quite frankly. Uh, you've only probably really dealt with, like, Babak, right? I'm, I'm sure I've probably met a few, but Babak would probably be the one I had most experience with. But like, directly. Um, generally, no, though. They're not, like, a massive amount of um, population percentage in the, the system, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They're, like, they mostly keep to the Adari, right? Which is their big city ship. Yeah. I. Uh, they're not necessarily um I guess they're maybe a bit xenophobic, is maybe the best way to describe it, right? They're probably quite xenophobic. They certainly have a secretiveness about them. Um Okay. Uh I'm struggling anyone any suggestions? I'm not sure what my end should be. Like, do I just waltz up to the guy and say you know, you look like you're in charge around here. Needing anything done? I mean, that could well work. Mm -hmm, yeah. Um, you know what? Lacking any other options, I think that's exactly what we'll do. Well, more, more or less, exactly. I think. Yeah. Like all approach, I mean, just just walk up. Yeah. Uh, and sort of uh, give him a friendly uh, uh, sort of nod and a. Hey there, are you? Uh, so you're in charge like, around here. As you like approach uh, the big show bad guy, okay. um, he looks like he could easily be an extra in Mad Max if he wanted to be really, really badly. Um, like kind of turned around, just kind of grunts at you in that very stereotypical. Where do you think you're going? Um, okay, I'll address him. I'm used to dealing with show bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. Hey there, you uh, work in the door, you know, not that there's a door, but you know what I mean. Then you hear the, uh, like, assassin be like, who is it, Nelly? 
And then uh, <laughs> the big guy Good just kind of grunts at you and like just chin ups as if, yeah, you can go past. Oh, you know, give him a nod and uh, continue on. Yeah. Forward and uh, I suppose since he's asked who is it, I'll just introduce myself. Who? Uh, hey there. Uh, name's Lyco Quinn. Pleased to meet you. Is it now? And like, as he's still leaning there with his two arms stretched out wide, these other two like gesture for you to sit down. I will sit down. And then uh, he clicks at one of the guys near him. Uh, and like points him away, so he gets up, pissed off, and then uh, like leaves and goes to the the bar robot. <laughs> I uh, I did get the impression that you were in charge around here. He kind of like, chuckles to himself behind his like kind of like face mask thing that he's got over half his face, and he says, "I'm grinning Durwa." And he kind of like nods at you. What brings Grinning you? Durwa. Sorry. Grinning, Grinning Durwa. Yeah. Yeah. That's his name. Okay. Can I? Is like is is grinning like a, a an epithet like a. You know he's Durwa. You know grinning Durwa, or is it grinning like forename sur surname Durwa? Hey, culture. Is the one we're looking for. Yep, I thought yep, you might ask yep, that. Yep, yep. Uh, and yeah. it did roll. Yeah, it's yeah nice. Woo! Nicely, nice. Um, this is probably because of Babak, like let's D5. face it. Like, it's probably the fact that you've worked closely with him and you've maybe learned a lot about how not to piss off the quite tetchy people. Um, yeah. And uh, maybe Babak's slightly more relaxed because he does work for, like, the space police as well. Yes, so he's probably and he has to be used to like their naming conventions. Yeah, and he's probably also been like, yeah, like you wouldn't say this if you ever met a assassin because that's really offensive. Or maybe you've went, hey, you, you commander, and he's been like, no, you would never say you commander. That's really insulting. You would actually say this if you ever, you know, you've probably had a lot of lessons actually, but it's very much been he's just accepted that their culture and everybody else's culture are vastly different. Um, no, like Durwa is. Kasathan, but grinning just seems to be like, you know, prefix as it were. No, yeah. it's not Kasathan. It's just maybe a joke, right? Yeah, because you can't see his face. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. So, what did he say after he introduced himself there? After his name. What sorry. brings you my way, Mister Quint? I'm uh. Actually. And he just passing Ruby. But... Ruby. Get the man a drink. Thank and then uh, he leans forward with like his kind of like top set of arms and takes the drink out of your hands and just throws yeah. it away. <laughs> the can just like clanks <laughs> off the ground or whatever. And uh, Ruby, which was the guy that was sat in your seat before you, um, like, <laughs> like, do you speak Shobed? No. He's not sure he's a human, but like he just he, he says something in Shobad that clearly sounds like swearing, and then uh, I think the the big guy Nelly just kind of laughs uh, to himself once, and uh, Ruby eventually returns after a couple of minutes of rattling around behind the robot, and like comes back with like a bottle of something that looks definitely homemade, <laughs> but uh, at least it for, looks... perhaps preferable to the. Yeah, it's not the f the five credit swill that everybody gets, and uh, you know, a cup's emptied out and sat in front of you, and Ruby unfortunately has to pour all this acting like <laughs> server, and uh, <laughs> grinning Durwa kind of just sits <laughs> back and like motions with his hands again to the things. Try this instead. Thank you. Uh, and uh, once it's poured, I will, you know, mm -hmm. take yeah. a take a step and see how it is. Yeah, it's again as nice as whatever Lyco thinks nice booze tastes like. It's yeah. um, reasonably, you know, like like a pleasant surprise when you attempt to make something yourself, and you're like, actually, this is really good. Like, okay, yeah, but it definitely tastes um, homemade. I th I think you uh, so, you know. 
to accept, then have a sort of genuine nod of the head of, oh yeah, that is good sort of thing. Um, mm, yeah, that's that's nice stuff. Thank you. Um, you just hear like kind of like deep, you know, Christopher Judge levels of laughing. Um, like if this if this person was played by anyone, it would definitely be Christopher Judge, who was Teal'c from Stargate. Okay. Um, also Magneto from X Men Evolution. Uh, hmm. But yeah, uh, just a bit kind of deep laughing. I from him as if he's enjoying the fact that you've enjoyed <laughs> the expensive booze. I uh, yeah, sorry, I was saying I'm uh, I'm here with a crew. We're between worlds and between jobs at the moment. Obviously. The situation with Absalom has kind of uh, left everyone in upheaval, so uh, we've been looking for some work we can pick up while we're we're on world, and uh, came in here looking to see if anyone was offering any. A crew without a home, without a purpose. He just starts laughing again. Uh, and kind of looking off into like the kind of kind of blowy desert behind him, and he's like, turns back and he says, "What kind of work are you looking for, Mister Clint? Do you know me by reputation?" Uh, I don't think I do. Um, no, like you've never heard of no. getting Dora, especially with like your. Your culture check, right? I, I would say that would cover that. Yeah, um, so I, I, w- I would have known if I'd known him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've never heard uh, of him. I, you know, I I can't say I do, but then I don't spend the most time in Akaton. Sure, my friend probably would. Kind of laughs again. <laughs> He's like, you're missing out. And he kind of like leans like down behind the seat with like one of his arms and picks up some sand and just lets it kind of like blow away. It says, <laughs> People think the place is worthless. Gold. And he kind of lets it just float in the wind. And he kind of just chuckles to himself like he's made a <laughs> joke that was funnier than obviously anybody else can work out. And like some okay, of the... Yeah, I'm getting a sense <laughs> this guy's quite pleased with himself. <laughs> some, some of the heavies around him are just kind of like laughing with him, you know? And he kind of um, looks back at you. His eyes are kind of drinking you in, even though he's without a drink in any of his hands. And he says, Let's talk about the legality of this exchange, shall we? <laughs> okay. Um, I suppose... Uh, okay, right, yeah. I, I, I know, I know. I know what tack to take. I'm just trying to phrase it. Uh... Yeah, I, uh, I'm more than capable of being discreet with those sort of matters, if that's what you're referring to. Yeah, he kind of shakes his head and just laughs. <laughs> I don't care about discretion. Everybody knows me and Akaton. It's your concerns that concern me. Share them. <clears throat> My concerns. Uh, if I have to shoot anyone, I prefer that they have it coming. And he looks at you in like your weaponry. And he says, I can see that. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I've got a sniper. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. You're fine. Um, the RP problem of having a backpack full yeah. of deadly shit. Yeah. Well, either that or they're trying to get me. Um, but... Uh, and he, he, he laughs and he puts work. his hand up to stop you speaking and he, he kind of leans in puts one hand like on your shoulder and with like the hand lower than it it points away up and like it's pointing like off to like a rock formation okay and it's like probably a good like 20 minute run or 30 minute run away right um mm. do I roll perception certainly Let me just... that. try and roll well if you can yeah it's good Nice. You see a nice glint off what you can clearly tell is a scope. <laughs> um, I think Lyco genuinely chuckles at that. Like, no, not even chuckles. Like an actual, mm-hmm. an actual bit of a sort of quick laugh. Yeah, and like the yeah. the what the finger that pointed over that way, then he kind of like slaps you kind of gently on the stomach or the chest or whatever, uh, and that kind of, you know, see, 
and he starts laughing again uh, <laughs> in your face and he leans back as, and he puts his hands up to there both of them um, while his other hands are kind of like clasped in front of his kind of like stomach and he just laughs and he's like grinning Darwa is not not worried about the weapons you carry just the purpose you have for them Ah, uh, you know, it's, uh, not necessarily here. Hive Market, obviously, is a busy place, and it does attract some rough customers, but, uh, I've been some places lately that I, uh, couldn't be without it, <laughs> patting the rifle. He kind of nods, and he's like, many situations follow us. And sometimes it's good to leave them bleeding in an alleyway. <laughs> and you're thinking maybe that reference is a bit too specific to be like general wisdom, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. And you know, nodding, nodding along. He's yeah, probably still chuckling away to his own stories, right, as well. Um, and then he kind of turns to the guy that's been sat to, I guess you're to his left, so the guy that's sat like over to the right, um, he kind of leans and he says, well, Malak, and uh, the kind of guy looks up from like his data pad that's like kind of attached to his wrist, and he's like, yeah, he arrived on, on planet a couple of days ago, seemed to be with like a Vesk, an android, and an Ahsoki, and uh, a dark elf. And then he kind of looks over at Malak, and then looks back at you, and he's like, So your purpose, you were saying? Ah, my particular purpose. Like, he's been really open about, like, look at me, I can pull up your yeah. details. <laughs> and so it'll be, my particular purpose is, uh, well, related to my condition. Just like, sorry, doing the hands of, you understand, gesturing. Um, uh, yeah, and I think uh, like he kind of like nods and he looks over you as if now that you mention it, you do look a little pale. You know that kind of ah, oh, maybe you're <laughs> as well as I first thought you were. Um, maybe I was too absorbed in myself to really look at you. Yeah, my uh, my crew. Well, there are various things. One of us is a uh, a local. Uh, I think more from this area actually. Uh, the android that would be. Um, kind of narrows his eyes. Local, you see. I believe so, but to tell you the truth, I don't really know much about uh, his time here. I, I think he originates here, but I'll be honest with you, it's hard to keep up. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so we have been between jobs. We were able to come along here and we're hoping to arrange our ship to arrive here, but that could take days. And, uh, well, you know, money's not just going to appear in our in our accounts. <laughs> we've got to we got to get the bills paid. And nobody would here. ever question you if it did. And he just chuckles <laughs> again. Yeah, you will chuckle <laughs> along with him. Uh, How was the drink, Roby? More and clicks at the guy. As he like fills yeah, up nice the stuff. fills up so. the glass again. Good. This is an investment you see as he's pointing at the glass in the <laughs> bottle. Not cheap stuff. I see. Well, it is appreciated. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. We're trying to establish a business relationship. And he kind of just chuckles <laughs> more. Well, then I. <laughs> I gather from that then that perhaps I could be of assistance. Oh, really? Yeah, he leans back. You can probably tell now why they call him Grinning Durwa. Yeah. Because <laughs> they might have uh, implied grins in this particular guy's chat. Well, I mean, I'm assuming you don't uh, strike up a business relationship with everyone. You... Only the people that can make me money or progress. And, uh... 
which was that that you were thinking of for our crew? Let's be optimistic and try for both, shall we? I like it. Yeah, he just nods, like, kind of once. Just kind of, like, looking out over the like, kind of sandy plains behind him. So... Any specifics, or is that something for later? No time like the present. Wasting time is wasting money and progress. You say you can be of use to me. I'm always in the market for useful people, isn't that right, Robbie? And uh, Robbie goes to say something and just like waves his hand to like <laughs> imply don't speak. I see. I have Ruby for things. I have Nelly for other things, and Malak here. Malak. Never mind. So. <laughs> so yeah. What are you gonna do for me? How are you gonna make me money, or progress? He just chuckles away again. Well, we have uh, various skills can be applied in a lot of ways. If there's anything you, anything or anyone that you need found or brought to you, information. Are you implying I would lose people? He laughs to break the implied tension there. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, some people don't like to be found. Only people with things to hide don't like to be found. Sometimes you find people trying to hide things, in fact. And he kind of laughs again. Okay. And he leans forward and puts one of his hands on your shoulder and kind of grips kind of tight and he goes, go find me someone I'm interested in. And then... We'll see how much they're worth. And he leans back. Hey, Roby, just give him the ball. And then Roby just does that thing where he kind of like hits you in the shoulder with the bottle as if take this. But, <laughs> yeah. I will. Uh, he kind of like he hovers. No, he kinda, thank you. And he like hovers over you as if I'm holding my seat back. <laughs> I'll, you know, I'll, I'll stand and sort of politely let him in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. What was it? Dur Durla? Durwa. Yeah. Durwa. Grinning Durwa. It's in Discord. Uh, and so yeah, so it'd be, uh, it would, yeah, it'd be more appropriate to refer to him as Durwa rather than Grinning Durwa, presumably. I mean, that's how he introduced himself as Grinning Durwa. It's up okay. to you. Yeah, well, you know what? I will refer to him with it. Okay, I, Grinning Durwa, I, uh, I will find you someone you're interested in. Now, before I do that, is it a specific someone? Or is that something you'd rather I figure out? And he looks at you and he goes, I'll know when I see them. And he just laughs, laughs again. Okay, I like a challenge. Good, I think we'll get on. <laughs> and he laughs. And he says, enjoy the bottle. Appreciate your hospitality. And I will turn and go. And then uh, <laughs> you can just hear him berate Roby when you leave. <laughs> Um, as he's laughing at his own, you know, bullies. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I think... It's turned into a western all of a sudden. 100% is a western, right? 100%. <laughs> You're on Akaton, okay? I'm gonna write accent and everything, yay! <laughs> um, it's that episode of every other sci-fi when they go back to do western episodes. Yeah. Um, right, so, we have both... The landing of an automated shuttle, okay, uh, that opens its doors and vents the kind of pressured atmosphere inside, uh, and it's just got people very swiftly leaving, and a couple of people, you know, like, I want to say they would run away screaming, but they wouldn't because it's not that out of place here, right? It's just people <laughs> very swiftly leaving the vicinity of the landing shuttle. Um, so I think... The, the the camera shot will be Lyco leaving Grinning Durwa's bar. 
Uh, and then the camera panning away over to like <laughs> this little skittermander lying on its back on this table, um, just rubbing its belly with its six hands. And uh, obviously then Zora trying to eat stuff. And then your ticket flashes, saying that a priest will see you now. Um, then the camera goes all the way over to like, you know, flick up to this big shuttle thing landing and off walk. It's probably the shot starts with like the smoke coming out of the door and the feet walking out. If it was a western, there'd be spurs on your armor. Um, but we've got Weird and uh, Zig that stand side by side, hands on hips, slightly silhouetted by the atmosphere that comes out. And we'll take our break there. So, yeah, yeah we'll come back uh -huh. in 10 minutes and we'll have uh, <laughs> the complete, not totally a western episode continue. <laughs> Um, ah! I'll see you at like five past nine. See ya. I right. don't know what time that is, but sure. Bye.